Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim coming to you from Boynton Beach and today I've got another loaner car from Greco Ford. It's a 2022 Ford Explorer and they're detailing my Tundra today and I took, the, uh, I took that little um, Bronco Sport that they loaned me this morning. I really didn't do a complete review of that and walk around. I just pointed out how cute it was when we went to the gym, but when I got back, they said, hey, if you did a review on it, or you talked about it, if you'd like to take a different model and talk about it, we'd appreciate it. So I said, sure. So while they're detailing my Tundra, I've got a 22 beautiful Ford Explorer here. It um, is identical to the 23s. I, I've already checked it out. Other than bucket seats uh, being optional in 22, they are standard now in 23. So there's a reason why the, um, a lot of municipalities buy these for police cars and, and different types of things because of their reliability. This particular one is equipped with a 2.3 liter four cylinder motor and it has plenty of giddy up. I'll show you the inside in a minute. Uh, but the outside, it's got Michelin tires on the ground and they're 20 inch. And it has uh, LED lights of course very handsome front end and it has really comfortable seats I'll show you the inside but I like these wheels on these 20 inch tires this one is a pearl white it actually has a pearl metallic in it it's not uh, just solid white let me see if I can show you in the uh, sunlight over here if you can see it I'm glad the Sun went away it's so hot out here but there let me uh, turn the camera around and show you what we got so let's get in a little closer and uh, I'm going to make sure my microphone was on. I'll show you the uh, back here. We'll open it up. One thing I found is all of these lift gates now from my day, you could never have something open automatically. They all pretty much do that. And being a crossover type SUV on the smaller scale, it's pretty easy to fold these seats down. You just simply pull this strap up. It wants you to get away from you and you just fold it right down. That's it, just that easy. And then uh, they have this nice mat here with a lip on it to protect from sand and dirt. And pull it up, just that easy. And there's uh, a third seat in there. That is the third seat. And this has like captain chairs in the back. Let's take a look at it. This is pretty cool. Look at this room you've got too. But these seats are super thick and padded. Let me get in here. You have this armrest that goes down. And uh, this is, um, I guess it's leather. But um, you can Google that. You have a 12 volt and a USB connector right in there, a couple of them, a macro and a regular USB, big map pockets. But yeah, this is, this is really very comfortable. I might even be able to recline this. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Look, this is the stock position right here. Look at this. All right. Now I'm riding. Oh, well, we got some uh, AC vents up here in the roof. That's very convenient. Oh, it's an air freshener. Somebody put on there, wherever it went. Some LED door lights. Oh, this one has a big giant moon roof, sky roof. Now oh, this is a loaded model here. Got that pearl paint. And a third seat. And this is not a huge SUV. So that's nice. You got really solid too. It's got um, a lot of room. And if you just fold down this and you don't need the third seat, remember how we did it? It wants to get away from you. That's quite a bit of room, a lot of height at the AC vents for the uh, third seat uh, passengers too. And of course, this has the electronic closed deal. Look at that. 
Now it has a push button start. I must have opened the gas door. And when I got out, the horn beeps twice to tell me that I have the key on me and the car is running. Now, of course, this has the amber lights when your um, car is in your blind spot. But what I, you know, I wanted to know what kind of motor it had before I made the video. I had the darndest time opening the hood. Now, you know, sometimes when you open the hood, you just go like this and you come around. I have to show you what I went through. And, you know, it doesn't open because you got to find the little thing, right? Your fingers can barely fit in there and it's kind of warm, you know, because the engine's been running and I'm in South Florida. I could not, for the life of me, I had to Google it. I had to Google it, folks. As much of a car guy as I am, I did not ha know how to open this hood on this 22 Explorer. Well, guess what? They've made it easier for us. It's, it's simply twice. Just one more pull is all you got to do and lift it up. Now this one does have a rod to hold it and that's your 2.3 four cylinder engine. Uh, 5W30 oil it says on the oil filler cap over there. Oh, I guess it won't close. You just drop it down one and then you give it a little close there. So let's go on the inside. Let me show you what it's got. It's loaded. But when I drove it home, it does have, you know, all the electric uh, mirrors and windows. It's just, it seems like it's just, you know, easy to get in and out of like that Bronco Sport I drove earlier. Uh, you, you know, the Tundra and the Forerunner I had used to be, you got to lift yourself up. These are just so easy to step out and get in the vehicle. So if you are someone that's um, appreciating of, you know, of that, and you don't want to have to climb into a vehicle and jump out of it, well, this is your, this is your vehicle. Let's close the door. Solid. So right now it's showing us our tire pressure. It's got the tachometer, speedometer and all that. But again, all these cars have these uh, automatic, a lot of them do, this automatic air conditioning system. When I was in the car business years and years ago, to get that feature, you had to buy a Cadillac Brougham, uh, Brougham as we called it. Here's my readers. You got a little uh, area down here with another 12 volt and two more USBs, macro. Well, that could be a USB-C. I wouldn't be surprised. And the regular USB. And just like that Bronco Sport, the shifter is just this dial. So there's drive, neutral. So you're just sitting here and you're, you know, backing out of your driveway and you just spin her over to drive and gas and go. Just that simple. Of course, they all have the GPS with the maps uh, with the little screen there. And then, of course, let's find out how to work this giant sunroof. Okay, there goes the, uh, the headliner screen. Oh. Does it all in one shot. Now, what about the second one? There goes number two. Two sunroofs. And then what happens? Is it still open anymore? Uh, guess not. So here comes the headliner back. And then one more time to close the sunroof. All these different steps. It's nice and tinted. And I wonder if I could just roll that back. Yes, with the sunroof closed, look. There's your sky roof, folks. Now at night and in the fall, uh, that's pretty cool. So let's close the headliner. Here it comes back. We won't wait for it. We know it's going to close. Hopefully it comes all the way. Let's see. Nope. It's a two-step process. And there it comes. But that's like a huge sunroof, isn't it? And then you've got your intermittent wipers and all that. And uh, this is a power 
seat, six way, eight way, uh, eight way, because it has the height, uh, the tilt, and everything. And this one is also power. And I'll tell you, it is super quiet. I mean, new cars today are really quiet. You know, console here. Oh, drive mode. Okay, let's, let's turn it. What does it say? Normal, eco, sport. Oh, yeah. Oh, tow haul? Wow. Okay, so this has got towing ability. Well, look at that. All right. Then we're back to normal. And I'm sure that's what it was in when I drove it home. And believe me, folks, it's got 8,600 miles on it. It's a 22. And there's no problem with the power. Oh, they all have that push start. Now, watch what happens if you get out of your car, uh, these new Fords, they might all do it. Make sure I'm in park. Uh, when I get out with the uh, key fob in my pocket, as soon as I close that door, sorry, I just dropped my microphone. Let's close the door. You hear that? So, it's got a roof rack on it. So you can put stuff up here. You've got the back area. So you don't need a giant, you know, Tahoe or Suburban or even the Expedition. If you're, look, it's got a trailer hitch on it. It has to have a tow package. I wonder what the towing ability is with this. All right, that's cool. And, um, you know, you, you don't need to spend the, the big money. And it looks very nice. And get you one of these. You got your family covered. You got plenty of room. You can put a ton of stuff. There's so many configurations of things you can buy to put on the roof when you're traveling. And then, of course, if you have a small uh, pop-up camper or trailer, I don't know what it can tow, but I'd be, I bet we'd all be surprised. But this is a nice vehicle, folks. A Ford Explorer 2022. The 2023s are the same. And the bucket seats are now standard. But I like these captain chairs in the back. Look at that. And this reclining thing. Look how thick that is. It's very comfortable. It really is. Let me get in here again. Now, see, I'm in kind of the uh, straight up and down position. I'm going to recline it now. That makes all the difference. And then this armrest right here. Look at all this room. You could put. You know, your luggage, um, a cooler with your waters and drinks. It's got a big open floorboard here. It's a mini SUV with this big roof and a third seat. So I can see this could, this could definitely fill the bill for quite a few that don't need to go tens of thousands more into a full-size, uh, much larger SUV. And the economy is probably pretty good too. That's uh, my walk around on this one. I like it very much. It's very smooth driving. Good looking color. You look like the police. <laughs> yeah, because that's what uh, the police buy is these explorers here in uh, South Florida anyway. Lots of them. So I'm sure you can expect really good reliability. So come on down to Greco Ford in Delray Beach, Florida. Tell them Sarasota Tim sent you. Ask for the manager. They all know me, and they'll hook you up. Get out there and crush it.